is in respect of charges against Khairuddin Abu Hassan and Matthias Chang under Section 124L of the Penal Code for attempting to sabotage Malaysia's banking and financial systems. <clears throat> on, uh, on Monday, 12th of October, yesterday, isn't it? On Monday, 12th of October 2015, Khairuddin Abu Hassan and his lawyer, Matthias Chang, were charged under Section 124L of the Penal Code, read with Section 34 of the Penal Code, for attempting to sabotage Malaysia's banking and financial system. This action or this decision by us has been questioned by certain parties, including yesterday in the article published in the Star, entitled Dr. M. Cooley team up to slam SOSMA detention of one MDB critics as being an abuse of the government's powers. The Attorney General's chambers hereby wish to clarify that both Khairuddin Abu Hassan and his lawyer, Matthias Chang, were charged under Section 124L of the Penal Code and not under the Securities Offenses Special Measures Act 2015. I repeat, the charges are not under the Securities Offenses Special Measures Act 2012, which is commonly known as SOSMA. The Attorney General's Chambers also further wish to clarify that the Security Offenses Special Measures Act 2012, which is SOSMA, is actually a procedural law that provides special measures to facilitate the investigation and prosecution of what is known as security offences. The definition of security offences make it clear that SOSMA is not limited to terrorism or terrorists alone. The uh, security offences to which the Act applies are those listed in the first schedule to the SOSMA. When SOSMA was enacted, the listed security offences are offences under Chapter 6, Roman 6, yeah, of the Penal Code, namely offences against the state, and Chapter 6A of the Penal Code offences relating to terrorism. I must explain that uh, in 2014, the list was extended to include Chapter 6B of the Penal Code, which covers organized crime, as well as offenses under Part 3A of the Anti-Trafficking in Persons and Anti-Smuggling of Migrants Act 2007. The list was further extended in June 2015 to include the Special Measures Against Terrorism in Foreign Countries Act 2015. I want to pause here, I want to say that the list will maybe keep on extending depending on the circumstances and situation that need, that need to be addressed. Now, coming back to Section 124L. Section 124L of the Penal Code is an offence under Chapter 6 of the Penal Code. It is one of the seven new offences introduced into Chapter 6 of the Penal Code in 2012 through the Penal Code Amendment Act 2012. It is therefore deemed a security offence to which SOSMA, as I said, the procedural law will apply. The seven new offences are namely activities detrimental to parliamentary democracy, which is section 124B, 
attempt to commit activity detrimental to parliamentary democracy, which is section 124C. Then, uh, dissemination of information, section 124H. Sabotage, section 124K. Attempt to commit sabotage, section 124L. Espionage, section 124M. And attempt to commit espionage, section 124N. These offenses are in addition to the reenactment with modification of certain offenses which used to be in the Internal Security Act 1960, namely the new sections 124D, 124E, 124F, 124G, 124I, and 124J. The above explanations which I have just given you can be seen in the explanatory statement in uh, explanatory statement to the uh, Penal Code Amendment Act 2012. Section 124L of the Penal Code provides that whoever attempts to commit sabotage or does any act preparatory thereto shall be punished with imprisonment for a term which may extend to 15 years. In this regard, Section 130A of the Penal Code defines the term sabotage to mean an act or omission intending to cause harm, among others, to the maintenance of essential services. While the term essential services is defined to include banking and financial services. The Attorney General's Chambers today has to come forward to provide this clarification on the provisions of law that has been applied in the case of Haruddin Abu Hassan and Matthias Chang in order to prevent any further misleading statements regarding the relevant provisions of the law. We act strictly according to the provisions of the law. However, the Attorney General's Chambers is not at liberty to divulge any facts pertaining to these cases as, the, as you all know this matter is pending before the court. <laughs>